So today I thought I'd shoot a quick video in my office here on my whiteboard and share with you something called the iceberg principle. But before we start that, I just gotta show you this new shirt that I got. I'm gonna zoom in, check this out. Skulls with headphones on, how heavy metal is that? I like it. Anyways, I had to share that first. So here we go. So what I wanted to talk to you about is something known as the iceberg principle. And the iceberg principle is something that I talk to my staff about on a regular basis when I was running my accounting practice. And so what it does is it, it, it looks it looks like this. It's like so it's say this is the this is the top of the water and this here is the iceberg. We'll call it the, the iceberg. And what your clients see is the tip of the iceberg. This is the only thing they see is the tip. What they don't see is all the stuff that's underneath. This is all this is all the stuff that we that accountants do when they're working for their clients. So, you know, one of the things that I, I kept telling my staff, I said, make sure that whatever the client sees, we're, we're like, we have to be really, really, really uh, detail oriented on that. Most accounting firms are like that. They just get super detail oriented on this little piece here, but it's all this work underneath. Now, <clears throat> that's not what I really wanted to talk about. What I wanted to talk about was, I think you can use this iceberg principle to also, uh, actually talk about how accountants price their services. And specifically, I wanna talk about value pricing and the difference between how most traditional accounting firms price their services versus value pricing. And so call it the underneath the water, all the stuff that we do. Accountants tend to val or price their services by focusing on this, which is like the billable hour model. And so that model, and hopefully I can fit this in, is, the model is you figure they figure the price is equal to the time spent times their their charge out rate right because that is a reflection of all the stuff that you do so all the time that you spent and so you figure most accountants figure that this is the value this is the value that that they need to charge and that's how they come up with a price but really, your clients, they don't care about what's under the water in the iceberg principle. They don't care about all that. The only thing they care about is up top here, the stuff that they, that they get or the transformation that happens, the result of you doing this work, that's what they care about. And so that, from a value pricing perspective, is actually this. Price should be equal to or less than or greater than, or yeah, sorry, I'm doing this backwards here. Trying to get my numbers here. Price is less than or equal to the value they receive. So the value, well, like think about this, you go in to buy a car, you go in to buy a, a drum set. I like the drum set for my band. So I go in to buy a drum set, I go, oh, what's the value of that drum set? Well, the value to me, as long as the value of the drum set is higher than the price, I'll buy it. This is the same thing with your clients. If the price if, sorry, if the value is yeah, if the, if the value is higher than the price, I'll buy it. So in this case, if the value is higher than or equal to the price, then they'll buy it, and that's what they want. So with the iceberg principle, this is what your clients care about: the value. They don't care about the stuff underneath. So this is where I show accounts. It says if you focus your time and attention on having the right conversation with your clients, and you you capture it in the right billing model you're gonna be able to capture this value. And this is really where, this is where your clients see it. So think about the, the iceberg principle uh, in terms of value pricing. This is what most accounts do. I highly recommend you go up here because this is where all the value is. And when you get a higher price per client, it changes your entire business model. So there you go. I'm Eric Solbach and wherever you're watching this, please scroll down, leave a comment for me, and stay tuned for more success tips to come.